All right, hello and welcome to another Why Would You Use. So today we're going to be talking about the Corinth because we haven't talked about this yet properly in a Why Would You Use. So we should. Uh, this weapon is a shotgun. And in Warframe, at this point, it should go without saying that this weapon is incredibly powerful. Bonus, this weapon sounds just... Oh, it's just, it's just music, really. The sound design on this weapon is absolutely incredible. And of course, it has your main fire, which is pellets. Uh, but it also has its secondary fire, which is this big explosive shell. And it is actually important to note that this explosive shell, the explosion looks pretty big, but it actually reaches a little bit beyond where you'd think it would end. Uh, the downsides to this, unfortunately, are that if you shoot it at something that is before its detonation range, it just fizzles out and you get nothing, which is really unfortunate. I kind of wish that it had, like, a bounce and then it would explode, like on like the timer it would take to get to its exploding distance or whatever. Uh, but it's honestly very much not needed because this weapon is incredibly powerful as is. With that, this is the build that I'm using on it currently. Um, this build will work on three forma because usually chilling reload would not be on a bad polarity and it is only that way because of course, as you can see, I have a ribbon for this weapon that I would be using normally instead. Uh, but obviously that's not a realistic build I can tell someone to go for, so we're showing a realistic build people actually have access to instead. Uh, with that, I would highly advise anyone who is not planning on bringing this into sorties mainly, Hunter Munitions, it's a great mod on this weapon. Don't get me wrong, but if you're not in like sortie 3 survival, you're going to get a lot more work out of Seeking Fury because of the punch through on multiple enemies it's just so valuable. It can't be understated, like killing an entire hallway full of dudes in one shot. It's also just satisfying. And even beyond that, the reload speed on this weapon, I feel personally, is incredibly important. It's the reason I'm using Chilling Reload uh, instead of the dual stat ice mod, because 40% reload is such... It's like basically completely eliminating your downtime between volleys of shots which is incredibly valuable. And you're not really losing any damage because the damage that this weapon does is just... Like, you don't need the extra status. Like, it's... You don't need it. It's it's ridiculous. This weapon does a lot of fucking damage. Uh, and with that, we're going to be doing two tests. We're going to be showing the level 50 test as normal, and then we're going to be showing how it performs on high-level armor with this build on a Corrupted Bombard. So, let's get started. And first and foremost, you're going to see how useful the alt fire of this weapon can be. Because it can just completely wipe out and eliminate groups. Which is really useful as it turns out. And then the main damage of this weapon is enough to kill most things in one shot. With absolutely no questions asked. And then you can see the wonderful reload speed coming into play there. Taking out these guys even at ranges you would not normally want to fire a shotgun. Bombards don't exist, and we're pretty much done with all the enemies. Let's take that guy out right there. Uh, this explosion does go through walls, which is worth noting. Uh, and it does respectable damage, though it is worth noting the secondary fire does not often crit. And this weapon will, of course, as you saw, be built with critical mods. But against regular old like Joe Schmo enemies, uh, this alt fire will do just fine, just because it does such an incredibly high amount of damage. Then you can just, like, especially on Corpus enemies. On Corpus enemies, like regular fuckboy Corpus, like level 70 fuckboy Corpus just get obliterated by this all fire. It's hilarious. Uh, with that, let's now show how it does against high level armor. So we will give these guys another 100 levels. And I'm going to be invincible for this, obviously, because we're just showing off what kind of damage you can get. And against enemies like this, you'd be playing as a Warframe that doesn't care about their damage anyway. And you can see those slash procs from Hunter Munitions building up and killing the enemy. It can take as few as three shots to get rid of these guys, depending on your luck with Hunter Munitions. So yeah, that's the Corinth. It is, uh, it's a lot of damage. It's usually more than you need, uh, which is the reason why I value the reload stat so much on this weapon. But yeah, it is very good. You should definitely build it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you tomorrow.